Guys, what's up? Uh, I know I haven't been uploading many, many videos recently, but I do still have a few from my Montana trip. Uh, it's kind of been slow this summer. Usually, some people upload like the most videos during the summer, like I used to. But I do have a job now, of course, that will help supporting this hobby, which is awesome. Uh, but it does slow me down with uploading of videos, and I do do a lot of other stuff during the summer. Uh, but recent project is in the last two days. Uh, I bought a P42 Athern, and I don't know if anybody's done this yet, but I really, really do like the 156 Heritage unit uh, from from uh, Amtrak here. So I bought this unit here. Um, it's in one of the old paint schemes, so I figured I could paint it up, you know. And so this is what I got so far for the paint scheme. And I bought a really rare set of decals from an E unit for Amtrak. So I'm going to have the logo like that. I do know they're coming out with one. Uh, I think Athern is partnered with Amtrak or Walther's or whatever because they have the... I think Walther's ready as a partnership because they have their uh, super line of cars, you know. Um, so they're coming out with those in November, I believe. But I couldn't wait, and I wasn't going to pay 120 bucks, So I bought this for 50 you know. And it's good enough for what I'm using it for, you know. To, well, I don't know if anybody's done it. But maybe be one of the first people with it, you know. I don't know. Just a thought. So, P4, the other P42 behind that looks pretty nice. It'll be nice with the full set over here. Um, recording this on my iPod Touch. I got the one with the two cameras on it recently, also. So, that's pretty much all I've been doing this summer. Uh, doing a few projects for my friends. Uh, here we got a uh, Jeep 60M. Decent engine. I'm actually taking off the BNSF and patching it for his railroad, the Pedro Creek in Northern, PC and N. So I weathered it up and I'm doing what kind of CN did with the Dash 9s, uh, where they kind of kept these stripes on the side here and they put the CN wet noodle logo in the f middle of that. I've been seeing those go through to Plainville every once in a while. Ah, uh, my also, grandpa's a uh, big boy here. This is a very old, from the 50s, Bowser kit. Uh, as you can see, I did put some together here. Handrails and stuff, and getting in the piping down there. A few parts like that down here still, and a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of just, uh, I just got to get rolling at least. I know the motor's not going to work with those worm motors, you know. Uh, so I've actually painted it up so it at least looks realistic, you know. Uh, and this thing weighs a good pound. Um, so you, you can probably see better in this light here. There you go. So it's a gorgeous engine. Um, for being how old it is, you know. I just noticed that paint chip there. Gotta redo that. Not a big deal. Um, pretty cool engine, though. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, a decal as such should be coming in the mail any day now. The I think I did pretty good with the accuracy of the aligning the stripes and stuff, you know. And if I am the first person with it, it's pretty cool. Not that I am, I don't know. I'll have to check it out, see if anybody else has done anything. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.